Hey there! Join me for a day in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I'm a member of the Merry Memories Plan, the Happy Helper Plan, the Furniture and Fashion Plan. So I've got like all the things that you could have for Pocket Camp, which makes it a lot easier. But I know not everybody can do that. So if you're curious about what those benefits are like, uh, you'll see during this playthrough. So usually when I open up the game, the first thing I like to do is just like check my mail, uh, look at my uh, friend requests, De oh, definitely get the, the balloons uh, with all their goodies. I usually get like at least one gold balloon per day. And I get like multiple balloons throughout the day. And yep, I do have uh, a caretaker. I love my caretaker. I've switched caretakers like a few times, but I'm really happy with uh, with this one. She's so cute. This she's like what my fourth? I think she's my fourth caretaker. I think her name's Shortcake? But yeah, having a caretaker is like the quickest way to level up a character. Oh yeah, and this is the next thing I like to do, is to get the requests for different characters out of the way. I've heard that if you don't go through Pete, and if you actually like go to every animal one by one that sometimes you get extra gifts like um, cookies, fortune cookies but Pete just saves he saves so much time so what are you going to do? I may actually have to turn down the game a little because it feels kind of loud There we go. Maybe that'll be a little better. I feel like the games in Pocket Camp are very- or sorry, the sounds in Pocket Camp, they feel like a slot machine, which I think is the point to like make it more gotcha-like. Yeah, I don't know. Funny story, I now have Ribba as a friend in both Animal Crossing New Horizons and in Pocket Camp. So he's on my island in New Horizons, and he's now my friend in uh, in Pocket Camp. I think this was actually my first encounter with him, so that's awesome. I'm starting to get better at these furniture guessing uh, games, also because I'm starting to get to know the different characters a little more. Yo, that gift was a hit. I just, I love some of the writing for these characters. It's so, uh, it reminds me of uh, that meme where it's like, hello, fellow kids. Or is it Steve Buscemi in high school? But he's not, but he's like old and in high school. I love when you meet new characters like this because it helps you level up your own character way quicker because like for every friendship level that you get you get the points and it doesn't matter if it's like lower friendship levels or high and the higher friendship levels are just difficult they get more difficult you know like it takes more work to level your friends up in this game Yeah, and at this point, if I have the snacks to give, I definitely try to give, like, the new characters at least one good snack. Just because you never know when you're going to see them again. I mean, I could, like, level them up enough to invite to my campsite and then just keep them there, but I try not to do that right now. And look at that, from, 
from zero when I met him a minute ago to now we're like level five or six. That's amazing. Also, very useful, and I forget, requesting more requests from a character is another great way to level them up. Even though the even though the sounds sound kind of like a slot machine, I do still find them nice in this game. Even though I don't really like slot machines or like those types of games. I guess now I do. At least in Animal Crossing form. I'm actually surprised at how many friends I've made uh, in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Because I've only started... I started maybe like a month and a half or two months ago. And I've already... I've, I've got a good friends list. Oh yeah, that's another thing I try to make sure I do is if anybody needs help uh, with getting into the mine, I try to approve those requests. Also, if anybody needs their plants, like their flowers watered, but like, unless there's an event going on, I feel like almost none of my friends, like, need their flowers watered. Cheap, here I go requesting some help to get into the sh the quarry sorry not the mine the the quarry uh yeah just requesting help to get in yay fortune cookies you know i was surprised because this month i had like three of the fancy fortune cookies show up that could be bought with bells and i was really surprised by that also, that wrestler tank, very cute. It's like the third one I have, but still cute. Let's see, what's this one? You will be interviewed on TV by a reporter. Common chair, black. You know what, I'll take it. I don't think I had any of the black version yet. And as you can see, I don't really, I don't think I explore the cookie shop that much in this playthrough for the day. But there's a lot of, like, astronomy and star-themed cookies, which is, it's actually pretty cool, because I love that stuff. Sweater dress. Can you believe, I needed this, this is the first time I've seen this sweater dress ever since I've been playing this game uh, at Able Sisters. <laughs> And I needed it for one of the, the school class layout challenges like a month ago. Actually, I like that everything was sweaters today. I like them all. Also, the, the furniture here been getting better. I have to say, like, when I first started playing like two months ago, I just felt like I kept getting the same things over and over again like the flamingo the what is it the suitcase the brown like bag suitcase like i don't know i think i think the items in my shop are starting to get better and i'm here for that there's only so many shoe racks and piles of tires you can get before it gets old Also, it's a constant struggle trying to keep my inventory, like, manageable. Because I just feel like you fill up so quick. Ooh, special peach. A perfect peach is what they call it. I mean, I already had five of them, so what's another one? I'm just kidding. I am grateful for all the perfect fruit I get. Because then when an animal makes requests for the fruit, if you give them a perfect one, you're more likely to get more bells and more cookies. Fortune cookies. Oh yeah, and obviously you see the, the gyroids. Gyroids? I don't know what you call them. But by this stage, I've already like built everything I wanted to with them. What are they? I forget what they the full name for them is Stargazer Gyroid. 
Like, so at this point, I think I'm just collecting them for the bells and because I want a sense of completeness. The one sound in this game that I'm not- I had to get used to was the walking on the snow. It just sounds a little too scrunchy for me. Feels like chalk being crushed. I don't know, something about it. I'm fine with it now, but it took me some, it took some getting used to. No, but okay. That the green fish right there, what is it, black base or whatever that fish is called, has been sitting there for days. Nobody wants that. I have filled up my market box multiple times, and the poor green fish just keep getting looked over. And I don't, I don't blame people. I, ne I never want to buy that fish when I'm buying from other people's market boxes. But I feel fed. I, maybe I need to like lower the quantity of them that I'm selling. I think that might that might be part of the issue. Yay! Sometimes the daily goals like oh yeah, actually the the daily goals are so worth it for the treats. Like oh my goodness, I think that's one of the only ways you can earn treats like predictably also do y'all see some of these market boxes well not this one as much but they're like hardcore people make some interesting decisions with their market their market boxes some of them are like i feel like i'm walking down sax fifth this one for example look at that 15,000 for five fish, which is, I mean, they're rare fish, but still, they're looking for big spenders. One of the things I definitely look for in other people's market boxes is the perfect fruit that doesn't grow on... I keep wanting to say my island, but it's like multiple islands. Anyway, so those fruit for me are grapes and lemons I, they don't grow on any of my islands so the only way that i can get the perfect fruit forms of those is if i get them in a cookie or a gift from another player or if i buy them from a market box and sometimes i get lucky and it's worth the it's worth the price It's also tough like this when my inventory is already, like, so full. Because I'm trying to, like, manage. I don't need, like, the high ticket, high bell items. Like, 50,000? That's cool, but I, I already have one. I already have something that's worth 50,000, so I don't need another thing that's worth that. I think I got lucky in this case and found something that it was something super like common like horse mackerel that I just didn't even have in my inventory. Yeah, that gold treat, come on over. Come on over. I won't say no to that gold treat. Yeah, see this where I need to like buy five items from somebody's market box that's where it just gets a little tough because like if i already have everything i need and people are i don't know i don't want to have like 15 of something i guess at this point i should just buy anything and just sell it but yeah it feels a little tough sometimes like, i don't need 10 lychee I don't need five Amber Jacks or King Salmon <laughs> or King Koi or whatever. I don't know what the... I think it is King Koi. I would eventually like to catch all of like 
the super rare fish. I know a lot of people try to keep at least one of each thing that they catch in their inventory. And I think I'm, like, I'm mostly trying to do the same. There we go. Friend powder, here we come. This is one of my favorite goals. A, because it's easy, but B, because... Sometimes you just don't notice when your friends have uh, have updated their photo on Pocket Camp. I don't. I mean, you don't really get like. I don't think that you get a notification about that. So, I feel like this challenge of giving kudos to friends is a good. It's just good motivation to get out there and look at what your friends' photos have been updated to. Like in this case, I'm just going through and doing way more than five because. I love to see what's the what's the mean everybody's so creative but i don't mean that in a mocking way i mean that genuinely like everybody is so creative and some people have things in their inventory that i don't have because they've been playing consistently for way longer so yeah everybody's so creative but genuinely plus the sticker options or stamp Sorry, these are stamp options. Are really cute. I think that's one of the benefits I get as I don't know if it's the memory, the Merry Memories, Happy Helper, or Furniture and Fashion Plan. And I think it's the Merry Memories plan. But um, I think that's one of the benefits is that you get like all these stamps that you can choose from, and you can like in this case, and I'm, I'm gonna be posting like three stamps. You know, like. You can, I think you, I don't know if there's an upper limit to the number of stamps you can post at once, but I love that you can, you know, you have, you have a good amount to choose from. Like the stamp situation in Pocket Camp is way better than the sticker situation. Cause like, I actually just gave up on the sticker journal part of this because Every sticker that you buy in Pocket Camp is like a one-time use sticker. Which just does it didn't I don't like that. So I just sometimes I still go in there and get stickers because they're cool, but like I'm kind of disillusioned with the sticker journal right now. It's really cute to see the scenes that people, like, choose to favorite as well. Like, Abigail, you can tell, uh, they're still going off of the, um, what was it? What was it? The ice gem? Ice crystal? Or maybe it was flowers? I think it was the flower event where we were getting all of, like, the snow, snowball fight themed furniture. Vera is a very high level friend of mine. I think she's, she is the closest to me in the, um, I keep forgetting what it's called right now, but like when you take the classes and decorate, she's like level 10 or 11. And I love seeing in like the avatar snapshots, like, Who's changed their look up uh, based on the latest events or like cookies or re-releases that are out? I don't think I've used every sticker here. I'm trying to be more creative with my herbs. I keep calling them stickers. Stamps. I keep trying to be creative with the stamp use because there's so many of them and sometimes I feel like I just get lazy and use the same ones over and over again, but yeah. I also try to tailor them like to the photo theme. Like in that case it was like beachy, so I did like the beach parasol. Man, I'm going through a lot here. Which, good, because some of these photos didn't have 
very many reactions. I think one of them just had none. Because it was new, not for any other reason, but... Also, some of my friends have characters that I don't have yet. So it's cool to, to preview them. My goodness. And I'm barely like halfway down the friends list right now. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do one for like every single person, but if it's like if I notice that their photo's new, then... Also because some of these are newer friends and I just haven't reacted to their photos yet. It's like a little fashion show every time. Another day, another goal complete. Also, I never thought that I would have this many bells this quickly in this game. Part of it is just that I've maxed out on some of my resources. Yeah, like, wood maxed out on it already. Uh, cotton also maxed out on it. And I just haven't done any crafts recently that have required those. Okay, and now we're jumping from island to island so that I can collect resources and connect with uh, my animal friends. This is like, even though I go through Pete to complete all of their requests, there's still additional additional friend points that you can get if you go to each island and ask the animal to tell you a story. So that's what I'm doing here with Biggie. Ooh, I'm giving her the snack that I just earned. What are snacks for? Oh, Biddy's actually super cute. She's newer to me, and she's pink, so of course I'm gonna love her. Level up! Gotta love those, uh... I get more- I think sometimes I get more excited about the new inventory space than the leaf tickets. I'm like equally excited for both. <laughs> Meringue! That's her name! I was, I guess my nickname for Meringue is Shortcake because she looks like a strawberry shortcake. I actually have a really sweet video that I am so glad I recorded from Valentine's Day because I gave my special Valentine's Day, like, snack to Meringue. And I'm so glad that I recorded that. I'm actually going to post that as a separate video. It was so cute. Doing a little fishing. Oh. Yes, maybe not. <laughs> maybe today isn't. I don't have the patience for fishing. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm I should just give up on fishing right now. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Meringue. Meringue agrees. I also almost never do, like, the Gulliver travels. The Gulliver activities seem more like an endgame thing, like, once you've leveled yourself up to, like, 200 and have millions of bells. But I don't think I'm there yet. I need those resources for other things right now. I love that meringue claps every time. I mean, whoever your caretaker is, if you're allowing them to follow you, they're gonna clap for you. But 
I love that they do that. Gaston. I was so surprised when I befriended this this bunny and realized his name is Gaston. He's a weird guy. <laughs> He's definitely one of the weirder animal friends I've made so far. And on to the next island. This time we're going to the creek. I love that it's still snowing because like I guess Pocket Camp thinks that it's still I guess it is still like winter in plenty of parts of the world. But I just love this the snow slowly falling. Here we go. Another another gift challenge. Diva. Oh, Diva's easy. Of course she's gonna want... Of course Diva's gonna want something gorgeous. You really get me, don't you? Yes, Diva. Yes, girl. Well, thank you, Patty. Don't mind if I do. I needed that. See, like, when fishing is this level of easy, I love it. You can still mess it up, as you saw me do just now, a few, like, a minute ago. But it's like, I think the most stressful fishing experience I've ever had in a game right now is Spiritfarer. Especially depending on the type of fish. Because, like, in Pocket Camp, the hardest fish to catch that you're ever going to encounter, in my experience so far, essentially taps three times before... Or, like, instead of you having to tap on the first fish tap, you have to tap on the third, the third fish tap. Uh, so you just have to be patient and, like, not, you know, go go too fast. But Spiritfarer, especially when you're, I think it's a type of salmon, a specific type of salmon when you're fishing for it in Spiritfarer. My goodness. That took, like, multiple tries for me to do before I could even get it once. It felt like a lot of button mashing. Like, isn't the snow walking sound a little weird? Like, even though I've gotten used to it, isn't it just a little weird? <laughs> Did, here we go. The happy home rank or whatever. I've, like, done all the classes in this that I can right now. Like, everything else, I'm, like, far from being able to even complete it because I don't own any of the, of the items. Or I own, like, one. Yeah, see this? Anything that I had the things for, I've done. Which, I mean, it explains why I've been working hard at this. Like, that's why I'm pro rank 12 in happy home classes, is because I've been grinding a lot. Because you do, if you get two or three medals for the happy home class, you actually do get, like, cool cl uh, prizes. Like, you get a lot of bells and stuff. So yeah, this is my main- this is my campsite right now. We've got the underwater theme going, but I really wanted to use my pink uh, furniture. Which I think- I think it goes well, right? Like, underwater theme and pink. I think that's a good combo of colors.
Oh, this character. Oh, wait. Oops. Yeah, see, this is one thing with Pocket Camp that gets a little repetitive, is if there are, like, multiple opportunities to level a character up, you have to, like, go initiate a conversation with them every time. Like, Dreamlight Valley doesn't do that because when you're done with the interaction, they take you back to, like, the option screen for that character interaction. So it feels a little more efficient in a game like Dreamlight Valley versus... Why, I sure do, Filbert. Let's see your look. Show it off. I love how proud the animals are during their little fashion show. They got that smug look. Oh, this... I think this character... What's her name? Tia! She was my caretaker before Meringue. Because I love the way Tia looks. You know, I actually have... Oh, look at that reaction! I love that. That's one reason not to skip the conversations by long pressing. Because you get to see all the cute little animal reaction animations. Um... I wish that you could do that as your own character, other than just being able to do it in, when you're taking a picture. And I'm going to my cabin. Apparently nobody's got any requests for me, which I'm not used to. The cabin feels a little bit like a hot mess right now, but I was really trying to use up all of the themed... Like, similarly themed blue items. No, nope, no, nope, ain't nobody got nothing for me. So now I'm just making sure that there aren't any requests I haven't answered or uh, animals that I have leveled up enough to invite to my camp that I just didn't realize I had leveled up enough. Which I don't because I've moved enough I've progressed enough in the game that instead of level 5 being when I can invite most of my friends, now it's level 7. So, I have a lot of friends at level 6 that I just need to push over the level 7 friendship line. Oh yeah, got it. See, I feel like I'm like the only, one of the only... People in my friends list still doing flowers right now. Might as well, right? Do like 50. Let's see what I get. Let's see. Orange, red, white, yellow. I mean, that's not bad. Maybe we'll do a little more. I'm surprised that you can do, like, cross-pollinate red with red and still get, like, different stuff. I guess it's not as good as when you cross-pollinate different colors with each other, though. I got way more from the orange. We might as well enjoy the fruits of our labors and plant some of those white pansy seeds. And I'm gonna look. I don't think anybody's gonna need watering, but just in case, because that helps me too. Yeah, just a little. But yeah, look, nobody... Which I get, right? Like, for some of these people, if they've been playing longer than me or whatever, like, maybe they just don't care about flowers. I just want to be able to get all the flower furniture. And I think this is where I, I end my morning session. Actually, maybe I'm going to look at what is in... Yeah, I didn't... The Midwinter Cone Collection. Didn't care much. Stargazer. Nothing worth leaf tickets or whatever is worth building for me. The Stargazer lamp, though, it would be cool to, like, have a bunch of those to just kind of lay around as a theme. So I might build a few of those. 
Yay! But I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of my stargazer gyroids. Maybe I'll do like four. I mean, the event does end pretty soon. And I'm not really into any of this reissued stuff right now. Like, when I see something that I like, I will definitely go for it. But, I don't know. None of this stuff really... See, like, I got that astronomical clock. And then I don't want any of this other stuff really. Like, I just it just doesn't seem worth the leaf tickets. Like, I like, I like what I have right now. I almost... Well, actually, I did get one of these hand fans. It was the Gudetama, like the egg-themed one. But yeah, now we're moving into the evening session of Pocket Camp. A little darker, a little more chill. I love how the landscape looks at night when the sun starts going down because some of the things glow. Looks gorgeous. Ooh, I got some stamps and a gift. Ooh, Ash and I have been sending gifts back and forth pretty consistently for the month. Look at that. 33 gifts exchanged. That's amazing. Probably my most consistent gift exchange friend right now. I'm trying to save some of the cookie gifts so that I, like, spread the love around, but I don't really have a lot of friends that I'm as consistent with as I am with Ash. Doing my latest round of... I feel like for every session that I start throughout the day, I just go through, like, the same tasks. Um... Just because, like, people, friends live in different time zones and stuff, or start playing at different times of day, so, like, not all of the quarry requests are going to come at the beginning of the day. Sometimes they come later in the day, or even late at night. Do I thank you, Meringue? Look at that. A gift? That's amazing. Also, I've just been building those bells up because I maxed out on some of my resources. Yay! And I can go into the quarry now because I got enough help from my friends. Let's go! Why, yes, I am. Thank you, Lord. It's always fun, like, <laughs> going with my gut on what I'm gonna- which rocks I'm gonna choose out of the field of them. Feels like there's a little superstition <laughs> that goes into it, but I don't know. Everybody has their method. I've had pretty good luck this time. Look at that. Woo! I did work quite hard. Thank you, Lloyd. 13k? Plus that many gyros? I'll take it. Thank you. That story, that story cookie, Ioni. This looks kind of cool. I guess it would go with my landscape. I'm not super stoked on it. Look at that, 13,000 bells. That pushed me over to the 700,000 line. It's pretty cool. 
I love this crystal thing, but it's hard to sometimes I'm it's hard to know what the boundary is for it. Slurry. What a cutie. Ooh, another furniture challenge. This is actually the second one I've gotten for Teddy today. That's interesting. He liked the classic desk, so why wouldn't he like the classic sofa? That's right, Teddy. I do know you better than you know yourself. Any time, Flurry. Sure do. Flurry is one of my favorite to dress up just because she's so cute. Ta da! Aww. And that still wasn't that still wasn't enough to get her to level fifteen. This is probably gonna call for a small snack. All Flurry's little dance. Like, <laughs> Snack time. Is it popcorn? Let's go. All for plain popcorn. But you know what? It did the trick. Go request time. I wonder how big the snow globe is. Like, it's probably normal size, like the size of a just normal snow globe. I think Flurry's one of the few characters that is wearing a hat that I dressed her in, too. I always forget to put hats on them. Where is... oh, okay. There's the blue bag. And the crystal shrine. I've met Biddy. She was just on my island. I just talked with her. Sweets, sweets dresser it is. Seems right up her alley. I sure was, Hopkins. I sure was. Where's Mummy Dog? Mummy Dog. Come out, come out, Mummy Dog. I forgot what your real name is. Donde estas? Senor Mum Oh, there you are. He's he's behind the register at the cute pink bow bun shop. Or maybe it's more of I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a dim sum shop. Because it's more than just by Bow buns. Okay, I'm I'm I digress. Perfect cherry! Who doesn't love a perfect cherry? See? Look at that! Timmy's fortune cookie! Because I gave him perfect fruit.
Yeah, like who is worth leveling up right now? What shall we dress you in? Oh, that matches. Goes with the stripe mummy thing. <laughs> oh. Lucky! That's Mummy Dog's name. Okay, so this is funny. This moment right here feels like when you are looking for your phone, but you're carrying it and you're using the flashlight on your phone to look for your phone. I was trying to level Lucky up to invite him to my campsite, but he's already at my campsite. <laughs> so I, I didn't need to level him up for that. I'm still glad I leveled him up, but it was funny what I thought was going on here. <laughs> I done goof. Yeah, see, I'm, like, confused. I'm like, why can't I invite you to my campsite? And then I realized, because you're already at it. <laughs> you're at my campsite, Lucky. Oh, my goodness. It's embarrassing. Yeah, I'm so confused, and then I realize, like, homeboy's already invited. He's already at the club. Time to complete some requests with Pete. Very convenient. Look at that, and I still got a gift. Maybe it's just less common when you go through Pete to get gifts and, and fortune cookies. I feel like this is the part that feels most like a slot machine because of how often you get the money while you're fulfilling the requests. But I mean, nothing feels more like a slot machine in this game than the actual slot machine. Uh, I forget what's the name. At the Motors Place. But I haven't been playing that as much lately. Just because I'm trying to, like, like I spent a lot of friend powder at that slot machine a few weeks ago. Because I just, when I usually play that slot machine, my thought is I will just keep going until I lose. But then what happens if you don't lose for, like, 10 or 15 games? Like, you start to run out of friend powder. So I'm trying to be conservative with that right now. Let's see if anybody at the cabin has a request for me this time. I feel like I get less interactions at the cabin now that I don't lock my the guests who are at my campsite in my cabin. Tad. Tad sounds like they like sports. Okay, but there's nothing sporty here, so I guess we're just going to go with a cabin clock. Okay. Right decision. Correct. Yay! Level up for Sandy. I'm about that. I'm not, I don't get as, like, I don't get as excited for the sparkle stones just because I, they're just another resource to me, but apparently they're valuable. Let's change your outfit. What are you going to wear? Maybe a sweater? 
No. Man, coat? Oh, Ooh, the tangerine tank is perfect. It goes with her whole theme. Sure, Sandy. Oh, the little dance. It's funny to see how the different animals do the dance. Also, Mary, I think, was my caretaker for a hot minute. Music's so funny. It's a me. I forget. For some reason, Alfonso is the one that they chose to do for like the Mario theme. Maybe there's a connection there that I'm missing. I never noticed the windmill in the background of this island. You and me both, Whitney. Oh, Colton. Wait, which one's Colton? Maybe he'd like a heart. She doesn't sound too excited about it. Oh, Colton! I don't think he's gonna like this. Unexpected, but not. I love I love how graceful the animals are when they're when the gift isn't like their favorite. They're still so nice. Let's pick some fruit. I have so many lychee already, but I can just sell them. I also love seeing all the different tent designs, like in the background there. Um, that each of the animals has. I wish you could control- Like, I wish you could just control some of the design on these islands and not just your camp and your cabin. Because that would be so cool to be able to, like, I don't know, change the tent or something. Or, like, move the tent to your campsite. Oh, here we go! Inventory's full! Whatever shall we do? I guess we gotta list some stuff in the good old Faithful Market Box. Ye old, what is it? Old Faithful. Let's see. Definitely some fruit. We got a little too much of that. And it's not going to sell for much, but at least it's not taking up space. Definitely some peaches. Definitely some cherries. Maybe like a perfect shell or perfect fruit. Or just normal shell. Oh, there we go. Yeah, perfect shell. Yeah, I've heard breaking it up like this makes it so that, like, multiple people can buy, different people can buy the same item that you have instead of just lumping them all into one market box slot. There we go. Like, what lightens up the load at least a little. Maybe I'll still have to sell stuff though. 
If it isn't Annie Cotty, probably one of the funnier names in this game. I didn't take you for a romantic Anacati. I wonder how much the gyroids sell for. Ten leaf tickets? I don't think that's worth it. Not right now. Maybe not ever. There we go. That's a good selection. On to the next island. Sunburst Island. Here we come. There's so many gyroids. How do you say it in French, Chevre? You know, the outfit that Meringue is wearing right now, I had on Chevre earlier, like a few weeks ago. Oh. Time to hunt some bugs, sell them, have another mini meltdown about my inventory. <laughs> oh wait, I don't think I caught the bug with this tree yet. Don't mind if I do. More bugs. I think that's everything. On this island. Oh, I see a butterfly. I had eight or I had seven and now I have eight, but that's, that's so good. Usually I try to keep my max at like nine items of something. If I have more than nine, then I gotta start selling. Wait, did I see a big fish over here? What could it be? I see one tap, two taps, three taps! Ooh, King Salmon. Don't mind if I do. Hey, two goats on islands at the same time. Kid and Chef. At least you're self aware, kid. Oh. <laughs> Your sincerity is enough, kid. <laughs> Let's do another request for you, kid. Because you're so nice. And because I just went bug catching, so I have all of these things. Oh, we're going for level 15 with Kid. I'm lucky I have all of the things he's requesting. Ooh, special request time! Oh, that's weird. How do I get to the special request? I guess I can look in my friends list. Oh, there it is. 
what are we crafting? Digital camera and tripod. Coming on up. Nice. See? I got a request to get back. And I spent two on him. So it's like half a wash. Let me do a little more fishing. <laughs> more black face. Yes. However you say that fish is mean. I bet this is going to be a bitterling. It always is. At that size. I've got surprisingly good at guessing what kind of fish it's going to be based on the size of the island. Like another bitterling. Yep. The fish that are slightly smaller than this at this location at Breezy Hollow where usually pond smelt. Another bitterling. I needed them though. Like this might be a pond smelt or a freshwater goby. Oh, pond smelt. See? Yeah, see, I have too many black bass now. I saw two of these. Maybe a fruit, yeah, an apple, coconut. I try to keep a few more of the exotic fruit just because, like, I don't grow them on my island. That's the only one where I make an exception. Oh, I forgot about the fortune cookie. What could it be? Oh, I forgot I had two. Ooh, a simple panel! Very important to me in New Horizons. Oh, and I already had the base. Too bad you can't customize the simple panel in Pocket Camp, because then that would be super cool. That's what I did in New Horizons. Because then you can put whatever graphic you want if it's in a custom code by customizing it. Like at this point, I'm just collecting fruit so that I can make a little, few, a few more bells. Cause why not? Another bitterling, please. Thank you. Okay. What's next? Oh, do I have? Yep. Oh, yeah. Peaches as well. I don't have a lot of pears right now. I feel like pears are the ones that I'm always running low on. Yeah, and for perfect fruit, I try to keep it at around five max of each type. All right, what else is there? I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to do today. So yeah, this was a typical day in, in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp for me. I see I already made the hill. Maybe I'll make another pine tree, but there's like nothing in the reissued or limited time stuff that I like really want to build right now. Like, it's cute, but I just, I like the stuff that I have more. The star crown was tempting, but I don't like 
I only I mostly like the hairstyles that you can buy. I don't like any of the default ones and how some of the accessories look on those. Anyway, thanks for joining me for a day in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I hope you had fun. Definitely let me know in the comments if you have any questions or comments. And I'll see you the next time. Bye!